Hello, good people of YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm so glad that I have finally found a, an actual use of setting up a home lab and running a Kubernetes cluster at home uh, all the time, because I finally figured out something that I can that actually brings the value to my, to my life, except for learning and developing myself as a professional uh, cloud engineer. Um, but the thing is that I'm a, I'm a runner. I started running in February and it's December now. So that's almost a year of running. I have ran, I ran about 850 kilometers this year, which is crazy to me. And I use Strava to keep track of my metrics. And Strava has a pretty neat app on your phone. Uh, but of course, like everything else, you have to do a paid subscription to get access to all of the data. Turns out Strava has, a, has an API and it's free and all your data is accessible in it. So I figured out a way to um, get it into Grafana. Actually, I didn't figure it out. I just discovered that there, it's very easy. There are plugins to do this. Uh, and I was super excited about this. So uh, I thought I would make a video and see, um, share with you how I, how I did it. Uh, I did it this morning and now I set up the cluster uh, again and now I'm going to do it uh, on video. So I have a Rancher cluster running on my MacBook here. And as you see, it has been up for one and a half hours. I just installed a fresh Prometheus and Grafana stack on it. Uh, that's the previous video I made this morning. So it's available on my channel if you want to see that. But for now, I'm going to assume that you have Grafana running on your cluster already or in Grafana Cloud. And um, you have the port forwarding or some sort of ingress ready so that you can access your Grafana in the browser. So as you see, I'm accessing it by localhost 3000. And this is uh, this is my local Grafana instance running on my laptop. So I will be adding this link to the documentation in my notes as well for the video. But here it is a very straightforward, simple uh, manual how to do it. You go to the Strava settings API and create an app. So that's where I am now. It asks you to upload an icon. So I will just um, upload something that I have here. This is a logo for a blog post that I uh, wrote recently. And here we go, we have a Strava application. And it shows the secrets. So I will be uh, then I will be adding the Strava data source to Grafana. And for that, you will need to install a plugin, if I'm not mistaken. I might have to fiddle around a bit to do it, but you go to, uh, I'm logged in as an admin, and then you see the connections here, and then you go to data sources, and here you can do add new data source, and if you search for Strava, it is not there, so, ah, see what I did? I clicked add new connection here not data source would add new connection search for strava and then you click strava and here you get the option to install it in your local grafana instance so let's do that and here it's already showing an example of what you can do it's, it's so cool and it is uh, installed then we add the new data source and now we will be adding the credentials that we have here. So you have to copy over the client ID, paste it in, then go to the client secret. I will generate a new one after this video, obviously, so you don't have to try to um, hack me. <laughs> Come at me, bro. So then you do connect with Strava and you have to authorize your application. So you have to do this and Annoyingly, you have to put in the credentials again. So just do that. Copy over the client ID again. Here we go. And we do save and test. And the data source is working. Yay. 
So it's saved, I'm authenticated. And um, then I had to search around for a bit, but uh, Strava actually comes with, with uh, dashboards already. So it has this nice little list of dashboards and you can just uh, import them like this. Import, import, import. So now they're all already uh, imported. And if you then go back to your dashboards, you will see all these fancy Strava dashboards here. So you can, uh, let's go to the athlete dashboard. And here we go. Here we have a summary of my activities of the last month. Like, isn't this cool? Like how, how easy was this? How easy was this? You, now I have my Grafana, my Strava data in Grafana. And this is so awesome. This means I can start building a personal dashboard for myself. I like, I want to have a URL where I have, but I put in, um, a few panels, like for example, the weather, a quote, and uh, maybe the total distance I ran this week, for example. I can do so many fun things with this and uh, keep really keep track of my progress. So I'm super happy I discovered this. So let's see, we have uh, this uh, overview dashboard. Then we have a few more. We have uh, activity analysis, for example. So let's do an uh, afternoon run. And uh, I will just put this to, let's see, last five minutes, for example. And here you ha I have this run. And here I see how my heart rate developed during this run and my speed, for example. Um, that's for single activities. You have an activity overview where you can pick a lunch. This is a lunch run that I did. So you, here you see the, the watch and it, it is basically what you would see in the mobile app, but now you have this, you can access it via the web UI. It's much more accessible. Uh, and yeah, working as a cloud native engineer, this is of course very familiar territory. But the best thing is you have all your data accessible. So to my knowledge, on the free subscription, there is currently no way to view the um, average distance you ran per week for an entire year. You can only see a few months back, but you can't actually see it far back. So the best thing is that you can go to your um, explore here and you, if you pick the Strava data source, then you can start playing around with your data. So let's do that. Let's query the activities. And I want to see only my runs. I want to put them as a time series. And uh, let's do the distance. And of course, you have to adjust the, the um, time. So Grafana is only now seeing activities that were logged six hours ago. And I ran a day ago, so that's, uh, you won't see anything, but let's go back six months and just wait for it to load a bit. And here you go. Here you see, if I press week here, you see the distance that I ran every week for the past six months. Like this is so, so nice. And now you can start building things. You can do average per day. You can. Oh, this is just amazing per hour even. And well, let's let's run with this. So I have the average distance per week. And uh, let's see I, if I want to create put this in a custom dashboard that I'm building. So I have this here. Sure. Run the query. And then we can do add to dashboard and I'll create a new dashboard. Open it. I'll give the dashboard a name. Um, total distance per week. Save that. And let's go and edit this uh, panel. First of all, we have to put it on 
the last six months or a year for that matter. Let's do one year. Why not? And let's edit the panel. So here I have my panel. I can give it a title distance per week. And I can also just um, adjust the style of this so you can fill the thing like this, make it make it look pretty. You can uh, choose how you want it to feel like this. You can adjust the width of the lines and you want to connect the null values and now you have something nice here. So I have a very beautiful overview of the progression of how I've been running in the week. So as you see here, I built up really well uh, until the summer. Then I went on summer vacation where I hiked for 150 kilometers, but I didn't do any running. So I had to build it up again. Then I got an injury and I had to build it up again. And so here you can see the trajectory. So this is why it's so powerful. You can start building your own custom things what you want to see. I want to see the stuff that I, the, the how much I ran per week so I can start try beating myself. And, uh, and I want to have that available in my web browser. Another one is uh, let's go explore and let's do a distance per day. And I'll do it for the last seven days. Uh, last seven days and for the run activity. So now I have a nice little overview of how I've been doing this week. So I ran four times and one was six, one was seven and a half, and then I was eight and a half. So I can make a dashboard for myself where I always see what I did and how I'm doing that week. This is really powerful for for someone like me who likes to have these things visually. Um, this is just very powerful and I just can't wait to start building up some sort of web app that integrates this. So yeah, I finally found a practical use for running a Kubernetes cluster. I finally found a, an excuse to start buying some hardware and some Raspberry Pis and um, I can start building from here on out. So I hope this was useful to you and uh, let me know how did it go for you and uh, maybe you even want to share your creations with me. All right, have a good day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.